Capturing screenshots can be a handy feature in your app, whether for sharing content or debugging purposes. And with the screenshot package, it's easier than ever to implement. We can take a screenshot of a specific widget or the whole device screen. Today, we're diving into the world of screenshots in Flutter. The screenshot package lets you capture images of your UI in a snap. Perfect for testing, user feedback, and documentation. After the screenshot is captured, we can save it in local file storage in the gallery or share the screenshots with other media. So let's get started. Add the latest version of the screenshot package in your project pubspec.yaml file. Also add image gallery saver and permission handler to save the screenshot and share plus and path provider to save and share the screenshot. Next, add the necessary permissions for Android devices in the Android manifest.xml file inside Android app src main directory and in the info.plist file inside the iOS runner directory for iOS devices. First, we are going to create an image widget which we will use to take its screenshot later in this video. Let's create this widget here. We are simply returning an image wrapped in a size box. Let's create an elevated button to take a screenshot. First of all, we want to take a screenshot of our whole app by clicking on this button. For this, we have to wrap our scaffold with the screenshot widget. The screenshot widget requires a child and controller. Let's assign the controller to the controller variable and create this controller variable here. Now we can use this controller to take a screenshot of the child of the screenshot widget. Then, if we press this button, we want to call the capture method on the controller to capture the child of the screenshot widget. In our case, we will capture the scaffold because it is the child of the screenshot widget. As this capture method is asynchronous and returns an image in an unsigned 8-bit integers list, so call then method after the capture method to save and share the image and call the catch error method to catch the error if there is any error. Inside then block, let's call the save image method and pass these bytes into it. Let's create this method here. First, define a name variable like this inside this method and then request the storage from the user using the permission handler package. Next, let's call the save image method from the image gallery saver class of the image gallery saver package. Let's save it in the result variable and then print the result. Next, let's also call the save and share method inside then block and pass bytes into it. Let's create this method here. First, let's get the storage directory of our app according to the platform via the path provider package, then call path getter on this directory and save it in a file like this. We want to save and then share this image. Therefore, let's call the write as bytes method on the image file and then share this file using the share plus package. Let's also include another button to capture a specific widget using the capture from widget method of the controller from the screenshot package. Therefore, call the capture from widget method of the controller, and inside it, we can place here any widget we want to take a screenshot. With the capture from widget method, we can capture the screenshot of any widget, and that widget doesn't need to be within our widget tree, and it also does not need to be visible on the screen. We need to wrap the scaffold with a screenshot widget only far the capture method, because the capture method needs to know which widget screenshot is to be taken. However, if we use this capture from widget method, then we don't need to wrap our scaffold with the screenshot widget. Let's call the build image widget inside this method. Next, let's use the same then and catch error blocks to save and share the image and catch the error respectively. If I press the capture widget button, then it saves the image widget in the gallery and opens the share sheet. Let's check all the functionality of our app again. If I click on take a screenshot, then it takes a screenshot of the whole page, saves it in the gallery, and opens the share sheet to share the screenshot. You can see this captured screenshot of the whole screen in the gallery here. We can do the same with the capture widget button, but it will only capture the image, save it in the gallery, and open the share sheet to share it with other media platforms. You can see also this captured widget, which is the image widget, in our case, in the gallery. So this is how we can capture the whole screen of our app or any specific widget. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome Flutter content. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video.